Hello and welcome to Maxi's Fun Time. This is Maxi, and we are back here on um, Tegan's Guide. Uh, Tegan's, I keep calling it Tegan's Guide, and it's not. It's Tegan's School of Thermaturgy. And uh, <laughs> I'm sorry about that, guys. I did correct the actual name in the actual just uh, title, but I did not get to re-edit the video. So, um, sorry about that, guys. I, I, from, from here on out, it will be called the School of Thermaturgy. It's, it's my bad. So, I have one around and I scanned everything in the school I could think of or I could find. I probably missed a few things. Um, we scanned some monsters outside. I went over to the animal section. Scanned a few of those. Got some drops here. Um, there are some grains and some plants. What I'm going to show you today at the end of the episode how to get these right here and these right here um, you want to go ahead and come down and be pulling these up and replanting them because they will give you sand and glass which you will need and, it, and, and you won't have to go out and gather those so this is two items that you can get just by uh, going over to the uh, greenhouses there and just uh, getting those up and we will also probably replant all of the uh, we're going to harvest all the wheat and carrots. And uh, I don't think we need watermelons right now, but I'll show you where those are at also. Uh, we also gathered up all of the blocks here from around the school that I could find. I got 34 blocks of iron and a stack plus four of the gold blocks. Really, really good. Um, there is an alternate area you could use for storage, and I want to go ahead and show you guys this. It's over near the medical ward. And uh, you could set up here too. So, so if you come to the medical ward right here, if if I show you down here how to get to the medical ward, you go, you come to room four or five on your way to the artificer room here. If you come in here, the medical ward will be right here, and you just come up these steps right here. And then this way is the medical ward. But in here. There'll be a crap ton of gold and uh, there's obsidian too. I'm not going to take these beams out, but I might take some of this obsidian out right here. Right here. But you can use this whole area here for uh, storage, placing stuff in. Like, it's a, it's a large, pretty large area, so it's another alternative for uh, storage places. I did sleep in the bed upstairs. <laughs> in the dormitories. So let's go back to the classrooms. Classroom one. Uh, I also planted these guys right here. And uh, it, it's doing its work. Look at this. Look at this. These, these will regenerate now. Uh, all of this stuff will regenerate. And as you can see, I've scanned some stuff. <laughs> Especially some wooden stuff. So... It's all good. Um, today, we want to... I want to unlock this stuff right here. A preserver, I need some of that. And I want to unlock expert researcher. Research mastery. There and... So this lets us comply by shift clicking. Now, I need I need this right here. Master node tapper and preserver. So now I can come out here into my research thing. It, it doesn't tell you to do these things, uh, but 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 I like them. So now I can just do this, and then I can go into my book and do the node preserver. Now, advanced node tapping. Usually the process of Drawing viz from a node with your wand is quite slow, but not anymore. You have discovered a more efficient way of tapping into aura er nodes, resulting in double the viz draw rate. All right, that's what that does. And then node preserver, you now have a better control over the amount of viz you draw from the nodes. You will always leave at least one viz in each of each aspect in the node, unless you are sneaking. Be warned, 
This level of control is not possible when using wands crafted from normal wood or normal iron. All right, so we have to upgrade our wand. All right, but but now we can use this, and no tapping. Master, no tapping here, and uh, we're going to get this too. So, how much did that require? Six of those. There we go, and then recycle. It. so now we got this if you added you have added further refinement to your methods of using of methods you use to tap or notes you are now able to draw viz three times faster from normal note so this will let you fill up your wands that much faster and less time in between there so i would unlock these you don't need uh, you can get this one too, but you'll be getting it as part of a quest. You can start gathering uh, nodes now, but I would wait. I would wait and follow the quest on that one. But but these guys here, and these two here, you will have to get as part of the quest line to get to this part right here. But in general, she won't tell you to get these. So so definitely definitely get these two and these three. And then they will really really help you out. So that in mind. Um, we did orientation last time around, and today we want to get into better wants because we unlocked all that research that's going to be helpful if we don't use this right here. So we want to put this in, in like this, and then we want to use uh, a better one. Actually, we want to make two. We want to make two. You only need to make one here for the quest, but I want to make two of these so I can leave one in my work table and one on me and there's a V discount based on what your wand is out, made out of. If we put this in here. It's 110%. You see that? Yeah. So we want we want two wands, not one. And uh, so the first quest here we're gonna read. So we're gonna do wands in this episode today. So after orientation it's time to begin your first uh, year course the classroom next door to the orientation classroom and we went there but I'm gonna go ahead and go there again and then we'll claim this so this is orientation what they want you to do is come around to here and don't forget guys you will be probably coming back to these classrooms so uh, make sure that you mark them in your bookmarks here so we don't have this one yet so we're gonna go ahead and put wands 101 and hit save now our wands classroom is here and you see it's room two, but it's wants 101. And um, there are some supplies in here for you to work with. So uh, now we're going to go ahead and accept this sword. And like with everything, I didn't do some things last time. But every time you make something, scan it. Each part. All right. Okay. And now our next quest. Uh, gold caps to increase the power of your wand you should make a couple of gold caps the materials are in the chest and classroom research in your textbook thermaturgy gold cap wands okay so and if we do this we'll get these don't forget to scan these guys so let's go in here we'll go into our book here and it doesn't say thermaturgy here. See, see the difference in its text. It'll tell you which tab to go to, and then it'll say here. This is the gold wand. I'm going to do that one. And we're going to put this in here. You see how much that went up? Two, three, four. I want four. And, uh,. We can scan these here. Yeah, turn that off. I had it on while I was actually mining that stuff out. Uh, grab you. And now we're going to scan these. There we go. Alright. And that will actually complete that quest. So that'll give us three of these. And we're going to go ahead and scan those too. Well, I've scanned those. I scanned them before. Okay, so make sure you got those scanned. 
I scan, I scan all these. If you if you're confused whether you scanned it or not, you can scroll over and hold the shift button down, and it'll show you aspects if you've scanned it. So um, the next time we get we make an item, I'll show you what I mean by that. So we're done with that, and next one. There are two magical trees in the world: the great wood and the silver wood. Wood harvested from these trees will make your wand stronger. Find a great wood tree and bring some wood back to make a wand core. There may be trees on campus grounds. Research in your textbook, Thermaturgy Great Wood Wand Core. Whenever you see this, go ahead and do this one first, all right? So the first thing we want to do is go ahead and research that. So let's go to our book. And there we go. And it shows you that we need one great wood one there, one great wood there, and we need uh, three permito. So, now, I just happen to know that there's great wood wands down by the animals. So we're, what we're going to do is we're going to see, okay, so it's daytime. I'm going to show you how to get to the animals the first time, all right? Uh, if I can remember. <laughs> Alright, so. These are the classrooms here. The animals are over here. So if you go to... The Great Hall here. And we want to go this way. But we don't want to go up the stairs. We want to go out here. You want to follow this sign here that says inner court. Alright. And then you want to come to this sign that says campus grounds. That's what we're looking for, right? And right here is where you want to set your waypoint for the animals. I've already done that. So I'll show you. I'll come down here and I'll get the stuff and then I'll come back. Once you come down here, I already did this, but make sure you scan the wood and the leaves and all the animals. Uh, in the pens. Also, the flowers and the grass. So, we're going to grab. I need a bit of this. I'm going to go ahead and grab uh, a, a bit more of it because you're going to need it for more quest in the future. So, it's okay to grab what you need. So when you cut the tree down, make sure you grab a sapling before you run off and let it decay so that you can replant the tree. I don't remember if it needs a 2x2 two two or just one sapling. Yeah, that should be good for now. Uh, don't cut the whole entire tree down. Later on, You'll be getting an axe of the forest. That's weird. How did I do? How did I mention that one? Oh well. We're just gonna do this. There we go. And while I'm down here, there's a silver wood tree over here. And if you scroll over it here, there's an actual node in here. I haven't scanned this node yet. So. What you do is it's in the inner part right here. This is the one you don't want to break, and you just you can scan that there. And it, there's not much here. I don't even know if you can get this out of this wood here. And uh, also, we want to get a few pieces of this silver wood here. We will be cutting this whole tree down. So, and uh, you can get these up too, but you have to break them with shears, and we don't have shears yet, so. Um, off camera, off camera, breed, be breeding all these guys, all right? Uh, all three of them, breed a bunch of them, because you'll need them for the quest later on. So in between episodes, I'm gonna breed a crap ton of these, and we go FK, and we're gonna breed them, and then wait, and then breed them, and we'll wait. We're gonna get, we're gonna get a bunch of those up. So as you can see right here's my animal teleport. We got it there. There we go. Hey, your two classrooms. 
Uh, we're going to go ahead and go up to our crafting room. We don't need to actually go be in the classroom for this particular one. Actually, we do because my wand is up there. I forgot to grab it out of the thing. Is it in, inside the classroom? It probably is. It's it's at wands. Hold on. Because we went over to the wand classroom. So, if we check the quest, that part's done. It's asking us to make a wand, a rod. Um, we need two of these, so we're going to do two rods here. And we're going to throw those on the ground, and we're going to scan them. There we go. And that should complete the quest. And then, now it wants us to make a great wood. Gold banded great wood wand. So, all you do is, if you come into your actual thing here, and then this, and then you can do this. And insufficient V. So we're going to have to go fill this back up. Actually, it's a good it's a good it's a good thing to actually show you this. All right, so this is nine point nine, right? I'm gonna show you this. We're gonna go down to the wand charging area. I'm gonna go ahead and fill this up. See how much faster that is? Isn't that awesome? It's so good. Can you get on you? Okay. Now this one will hold 50, so I'm not going to be able to fill the other wand up. I'm going to have to wait for these to regenerate. So the one I'm filling up now is going to be our crafting wand. And now we can go back up to wands 101. And now if I take this and put this in here, like this see how much cheaper that is and then we can just pull this out now this is going to be my regular wand this is going to be my crafting wand so we're going to just stick this bad boy in here as you can see scrolling over it we've actually learned that we haven't scanned these guys so we do want to scan the entire whole product there there we go all right let's eat and the quest so we get three more of these and if you claim them i will show you that i have and all of those there we go and next in this class period how's our time going we're doing awesome all right so go to the nether it is time i've scanned stuff in the nether too it is time now to weaponize your wand. The fire focus is a good starting point. In the southwest alcove on the, in this floor is a portal to the nether. Head through it and gather some quartz for the fire focus. It says I need 20. So. I, there's two wand focuses I do want to get on this episode. So. Um. Let's go get some quartz. I do have quartz downstairs, but it's only one piece. And I, I really only got one piece just so I could break it and scan it. Also went ahead and picked up a lot of um, of the uh, glowstone. Uh, don't do this to me. Shut up, alarm. Alright, so... Let's get this out of the ceiling here first. Um, we are going to turn magnet mode on, because I don't want to lose any of this. And 
you can pretty much get all you possibly want. I think I was done though, right? Let's grab this in case I need it. Again. Uh, yeah, there's some more right here. And again, we only need 20. And that gas is going to be annoying. We don't really have nothing to deal with the gas just yet. Even the flame wand is going to help us that much. Uh, we're probably not going to be able to deal with him until we get either make a bow or... Get a, our shock wand for our foci. There we go. All right, that should do us for now. Go ahead and get in here. Done. All right, so quest wands went to the Nether. It gives you a fire charge. Um, these are hard to make, <laughs> so make sure you scan them. Make sure you scan this one, particularly this one beforehand, otherwise you'll have to go gather the resources up to make fire charges, which is really annoying. All right, so. We go into here and that's done. So now we can go to this. Now it wants us to make a one focus of the fire. Now you need to craft your own focus in the arcane crafting table. Make sure your wand has enough power. Research in the textbook, thermaturgy, fire focus. All right, so we need fire charge for nether quartz. Four fire shards. We've probably got all those. So we move on to actually making the wand core. So we go into here. We're going to focus. We got the focus right there. It, you can read this right here if you want. And it is this recipe here. So let's go into the classroom here and make this particular wand focus. So we want one of each of these that one of each of these like that and then the fire in the middle and our crafting wand into there and that gives us the wand focus okay. I was like what <laughs> I don't know why it didn't detect that one uh, let's go ahead and scan this Um, I'm going to save all these and open them all at one time. And like At the end of the year, I'm going to open all of them at one time. So what we're going to do is we're going to take it downstairs and put a chest somewhere. And we're going to just, at the end of the year, each year, we're just going to open a crap ton of these loot chests as an episode. <laughs> I thought that might be pretty fun. Um, next quest, I wanted, I wanted to get done before we end the episode off. We're not going to be able to do all these. But the shock and excavation, they're really quick quests. I need a potato from downstairs. So let's go down there and grab a potato. And we can do the rest of this downstairs. I'm going to grab my wand. Uh, go to the crafting room. Go ahead and put you into here. Uh, potato, potato, tomato, tomato. Where did I put all my food? I grab one of each. Did I put it up in the first classroom? Hold on. Did I do that? No. I don't know. That's weird. Um, I'm bringing all you guys with me downstairs anyway um, crafting room
I always put my chest over here. If you on me for right now. The wood can stay on me for right now. I don't need you. I don't really need you. I'll make a separate chest for those. You could come in here. Okay. But that doesn't help me because I don't know what I do with my food. So I'm going to have to go to the Great Hall again and grab some potatoes. I really don't know what happened to it. I'll find them. There we go. Uh, we have to go into the book. We have to get the shock. And then the recipe is air. Nether quartz. Potato. And we're going to put the rest of these in here. There we go. And we're going to scan this one. Done. Okay. So the next the last one we're going to do on this episode, because I want to be able I want to use it. Uh, is the excavation room one right here and we're just gonna grab that out of there um, the emerald here we need to scan this is the only emerald you'll actually be given so make sure you scan that and is, this one is earth around the outside nether quartz and the uh, emerald in the middle it costs that and we have our excavation one. How are we doing on time? I think we're going to have to cut it here. We're going to finish off wands in the next episode. Get that. Because um, I'm going to have to make this, which means I'm going to have to breed some animals. So let's go to the animal pen. Uh, all this, this is extra credit. So I'm going to breed some animals off camera. I'm also going to go try to find some uh, quick silver ore, and we can't do this until we do alchemy. So we'll probably get started in alchemy next episode also. Anyway, guys, if you like this episode, make sure you smack that like button. If you subscribe to my channel, I'll send you notifications when I have new videos out. You guys can come check it out, see if you like it. If you do like this episode, If you like this episode, you want to share it with friends, tell me how much you like it. There's a share tab down below. Click on the share tab, copy the link, post it on your Facebook, Twitter, wherever you do social media. If you have any tips, tricks, or comments, put it down in the comments down below. Don't forget to set your notifications on my channel so you get the notifications, and I'll see you guys on the next episode.